Good morning, dear students. Welcome to P and Amazi e-learning classes. What happens if it does not rain for a long period? Can you imagine what would happen if it does not rain in a region for a year or more? The soil continues to lose water by evaporation and transpiration, since it is not being brought back by rain. The soil becomes dry. The level of water in ponds and wells of the region goes down and some of them may even dry up. The groundwater may also become scarce. This may lead to drought. In drought conditions, it is difficult to get food and fodder. You might have heard about droughts occurring in some parts of our country or the world? Are you aware of the difficulties faced by the people living in these areas? What happens to the animals and the vegetation in these conditions? Try and find out about this by talking to your parents, neighbors and by reading about it from newspapers and magazines. How can we conserve water? Only a small fraction of water available on the earth is fit for use of plants, animals and humans. Most of the water is in the oceans and it cannot be used directly. When the level of the ground water decreases drastically, this cannot be used anymore. The total amount of water on earth remains the same. But the water available for use is very limited and is decreasing with overuses. The demand for water is increasing day by day. The number of people using water is increasing with rising population. In many cities, long queues for collection of water are common sight. You can see figure 14.12. Also, more and more water is being used for producing food and by the industries. These factors are leading to shortage of water in many parts of the world. Hence, it is very important that water is used carefully. We should take care not to waste water. Our last topic is about rainwater harvesting. One way of increasing the availability of water is to collect rainwater and store it for later use. Collecting rainwater in this way is called as rainwater harvesting. The basic idea behind rainwater harvesting is catch water where it falls. What happens to the rainwater that falls in places that are mostly covered with concrete roads and buildings. It flows into the drains, isn't it? From there, water goes to rivers or lakes, which could be far away. A lot of effort will then be required to get this water back into our homes, as the water did not seep into the ground. Here, two techniques of rainwater harvesting are discussed. First, rooftop what rainwater harvesting in this system the rainwater is collected from the rooftop to a storage tank through pipes this way may contain soil from the roof and need filtering before it is used instead of collecting rainwater in the tank the pipes can go directly into a pit in the ground this then seeps into the soil to recharge or refill the ground water. Another option is to allow water to go into the ground directly from the roadside drains that collect rain water. Thank you dear students 